first, I'm going to deal with the rage. First, first comes the rage. All right. <clears throat> Don't have that dump button ready because I honestly have no idea what's going to come out of my mouth. Just, just be ready to dump. Now, we have seen some, with this team, some crazy, devilish, devious scripts. You could go to the bottom of football hell and not construct one more painful than this. I'm actually shaking right now. I mean, when when you look at everything that we've been through, all right? I'm not going to run through a chapter and verse because you know what we've been through. I'm talking about since the moment Aaron Rodgers popped on our possible radar. A three-month flirtation. Three months. Every day we talked about this guy. All-time icon. We actually get him. He chose us. The losers. He said, I want them. And boy, did that feel good. And he plays it out perfectly. Just to answer the script more. Immediately immerses himself in everything New York. Knicks. Rangers. Broadway. Check. 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 Then he says the right thing. Every time he opens his mouth, it is an injection of confidence as a Jets fan. This is the guy we've been praying for. This is the guy we have been bleeding for. And he's here. And then for a full month, he's a star on HBO. Every breath chronicled. Okay? And then he runs out of the stadium, which, and I hate that stadium, but it actually looked awesome last night. Green, lit up, loud, perfect. And he runs out with the American flag on 9 11, like Captain America. And four plays in, he's done. He's done. Now, I swear, if if you gave me a hundred tabs of acid and said, imagine everything that I just ran through transpiring, and then the first game, national TV, Buffalo Bills, doesn't even complete a pass. Not even a screen pass. Josh Allen had more passes to the Jets than Rodgers did. Now, I first of all, I feel horrible for Aaron Rodgers. I am sick to my stomach. Not even from, yes, for us, I guess. I feel genuinely broken for that guy. Right? You got two choices right now. You got two choices. There is the door, and that says losers. Then the door to the right says, we try to piece this together with, I don't know, maybe the most talented wide receiver in football. I don't know, maybe the most talented running back in football. I don't know, maybe the most talented quarterback in football. Figure it out. Do not tell me today that the season is over. Do not tell me that. Because it's not. They already got one win. And I'll tell you, and I'm standing up for this. I will tell you right now, there were about nine people who said, I'm not giving up on Zach Wilson. And I was one of them, and so was my partner. So it is go time. Get up. Stop walking around work like a loser. Get your act together. We're playing until January. There is no way that I'm tapping out now. No chance. If you didn't kill us last night, we are unkillable. So as I get ready to get my partner involved here, I have Zach's back. I'm not saying Super Bowl, but I am saying 
playoffs with Zach. That's what I'm saying. A uh, hundred tabs of acid, uh, acid seems like a lot. That that might do a number on you more so than than I think the Rodgers injury did last night. And I, I think the season, in fact, might be over. BT, I had to break it to you. Uh, I, listen, that's fine. I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for Jeff fans. I cannot believe that this is the reality. I, I like. I can't believe we could joke around and say the Jets are going to jet and all that. Like this is come on. This is as we were talking about before the show. This is cruel. This is just cruel to have happen, but they did. You know, normally what would happen, the Jets would lose this game, right? They mm-hmm. lose the quarterback. They lose this 16-3, yep. whatever, 13-3 at the half. They go out there. They lose this game. They lay an egg. Everybody's thinking, oh, my God, here we go. But they didn't. Now, I'm not going to go as far as you and say I believe in Zach Wilson. I've always liked Zach Wilson. I thought they set him up for failure. I thought it was going to be a great thing for him to learn under Rodgers. He already did. Unfortunately, he didn't get much more time. To do so and was thrown to the Wolves right away. 9-11, Monday Night Football home opener. Hey, look, but he came out victorious. And now it's going to be, you know, a make or break year for Zach. This is it. There's, there's, I mean, year three for him. He's in a position to succeed with an offensive coordinator that knows what he's doing, everything around him. It's just hard for me to grasp that the season is goes from Aaron Rodgers to in four plays to Zach. But we have no choice. We have to. What's the alternative? I listen. Don't get me wrong. Last night, outside of I was thinking about this outside of nine, outside of when the Yankees lost to the Diamondbacks in two thousand one, and that is nowhere near this. The way I compart- compartmentalized the this hurt. worse or no? No, no, not, okay. not the well, Diamondbacks. Because you had already I, won the World Series with the Yankees. Forget or, about that. Like yeah. I'm talking about the emotions. Like when when that broken bat base hit went off. You know when Mariano gave up the hit against the Diamondbacks. I. Obviously, I'm a Yankee fan. You know Mm -hmm. that. But I wanted that so badly for the city of New York to heal that that hurt on a level that fully transcends sport. That's that's number one. Um, Last night, though, I I can't lie to you. I mean, I was broken. I purposely did not. I did not tweet a thing. Because if you look at my Twitter account, the last thing I tweeted was something like three hours before the game. At times moving very slowly. Let's get this. I need football. I need the ball in the air. And then I tweeted something this morning. See you ten on the on the fan. Like I want. There is despondency, and then there is just un like shock, shock. Now I understand. There's no guarantee, guys, and, and we all knew this. And this is, I mean, gee, this is the essence of being a sports fan, especially for those few select teams in our city that find creative ways to torture us. But I'm not dumping this at the step of the at, at the doorstep of the Jets. And here's the point, you know. And there's no way I could yell like this for four hours. That's t- this is the first time I let it out. I could not do this in my house last night. With I couldn't I couldn't do this in front of my kids. I could I, I I'm like I'm saving it for the show. And I meant everything I said. I believe in Zach. Not to the point where I'm like, no, 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 no. But you don't really have a choice. Maybe some of you do, and maybe you'll throw a quarterback well, a you call can just Tom quit. Brady. Stop with the pipe dreams. Tom Brady's not coming out of retirement. We'll get to that later. But I'll tell you what, man. As as much as 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 we invest in in in, in our teams, I I really that script that was presented to us last night. That is that that really should have been the silver bullet and was, I think, for for many of you. I'm not saying I'm better than you. Trust me, not at all. But maybe I'm just a little different than some of you. I refuse to give up. I, I don't know how to do that way of life. It makes it is not it is not it is not I am not familiar with it. It is not appealing to me. Now, the Jets, and we'll get into the football aspects here, but the one thing they gotta do, they've gotta change. How they run the offense. If they think if they think they're going left tackle three yards, even though Brees Hall was amazing, they got to open it up. They got to trust the kid. You know, you told us all summer how we got his act together. He cleaned things up. Mental reps. Aaron Rodgers, great presence. He's the man. Right, he's he's re- rehabilitated. Now we get to see it. Now we get to see it, and I'm more confident than you, and I'm definitely more confident than many of you. Not arrogance. I think maybe it's probably resilience and maybe a little uh, ignorance. I, I'll, right. I maybe. All right, fine. Thank, I'll, I'll own it. What is the truth? It is September twelfth. If you tell me the season is over, I will not accept that. I actually, I still cannot believe we're sitting here the day after this game that we've been talking about for months, and the reality has come true that Rodgers is out for the freaking. I know. So like it would have been I bad just, enough. Yeah, I mean, 
And I'm watching this. Let me just take it quickly through how I found yeah, out. Yeah, of course. Because I was coming home from SNY, and I purposely DVR'd the game because I didn't want to, like, get home the second the game was on and rush around. I wanted to, you know, kiss my daughter goodnight, whatever. So I had the game on DVR, and I purposely had my phone away because I didn't want to miss anything. Yep. So this had already happened, and I didn't know about it. And I'm watching back on the DVR, and I'm going through, and I see him go down. I'm like, no freaking way. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, all right, well, it doesn't look – like, initially to me, it didn't look that bad. But then when he couldn't get up, I was like, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping, like, okay, maybe it's an ankle. Maybe he tweaked something, whatever. Maybe it's that calf was a little tweaked, whatever. Then you hear the bringing the car out. I was like, is this actually – Yeah. Is this actually happening? How could this be? And, BT, you've been fielding off calls – for months about the Jets are going to jet and blah, 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 blah. And this is why Jet fans are pessimistic. And this is why everybody can't, it, you know, have nice things. And then it happens. Mm -hmm. Wait, four freaking, what? Four plays in? I was heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for the Jet fans, for Rodgers himself. This is, I I honestly can't, like, this is horrible. I can't even believe that it happened. 877-337-6666. All right. BT and Sal on the fan. We're inside of our Town Fair Tire Studio. Friends of Town Fair reminded that you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Oh, yeah, by the way, they won a division game as well last night. I'm just dropping that in. I know that that gets lost in the equation here, but I don't think. Listen, I'm, I'm rolling it through. Let's go. Adam, South Jersey. Adam, first up on the fan. What's happening, buddy? How are you? Oh, I got lead off today, huh? On a, yes. on a brutal day to deal with, I got lead off. All right. So, Brian, you guys know I love you. You know, Brian, all these times I talk to you, I never, never told you my nickname. I actually know me from the neighborhood. Everybody calls me Turk. Uh, okay. You know, I was around there a million years. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, you know, last night I went through the range of everything that every Jet went through. Yeah. You know, we went from exhilaration, excitement, to anticipation, to depression, to despair, to disbelief, and back to excitement. Yeah. Incredible feeling of a win. And then the reality of what hit, right? And I immediately reverted to being a football coach, Brandon. I said, okay, this is what it is. This is what it is. Zach's the quarterback. And you know what? You said something this morning, Brandon, that's 100% on point. This team has to become a smart ground and pound team that's willing to let him play. you got to let Zach play. You can't handcuff him. You can't give him a one-receiver screen on third and ten. You can't do things that are going to hamstring your team and settle for field goals all the time. This is what it is. Zach Wilson's the quarterback, and this team is too damn good, Brandon, too good to just say the season's over. Yeah. I'm not willing. No, no. The season's not over, bro. It's not over. No nah, way. My man. No way. My man. got to go forward. There's no way. Uh, here you know we what? go. This kid can no be way. good. This kid can be good. He can be if you put him in the right situation – and Aaron Rodgers can still save the Jets, Brandon. Do you know how? Be in this kid's ear. Mm -hmm. Teach him how to be you. Adopt him like you've never adopted before. Give this kid the love and confidence he needs and the kick in the ass when he needs it. Yep. The yep. Jets can still win, Brandon. I love I'm it. Adam, that's a great, a, win. awesome first call. Adam boy. At, see, that, now that's that's what I needed. If it was the opposite, I don't know what would happen. But, I mean, now that at least we got the first good one out of the way, now I can I deal with the inevitable ones who are not uh, feeling quite as resilient or as optimistic as I am. But, again, there's not many choices here except roll with the horse you drafted a couple of years ago. If you did not coach him up, Forget about Rodgers telling him what to do. If you didn't coach him up enough this offseason to at least be merely competent, fail on the coaching staff. But if you don't believe in Daniel Jones, just to tie in that argument, right? You don't believe in Daniel Jones, and what was your reason for not believing in him? Well, no, I, I've always been a Daniel Jones supporter. I just don't think he's a top 10, 12, 13. Like, I don't, I, you know, I, I put a limit on his ceiling. Well, and, and the reason why, when, when we were arguing this, you were saying, well, Daniel Jones hasn't done it, right? He's had one good year. Mm-hmm. Well, what's the belief in Zach Wilson based on that? Oh, no, it's largely blind in terms of results. And uh, I like him. Just, you I know, know you like, do. No, it's, it's a good pushback. I, I got you. I don't believe in him, but I want – I'm rooting for him hard. Yeah. But, like, everything that we've seen, even last night, and he maybe saw a little more maturity, a little more confidence, I still think he's learning on the go here. He is. Now, now listen, I don't know. I can't quantify this. Now, it's one thing, and everybody always says, oh, next man, I'll be ready to go. There is no way in the world that Zach Wilson's head was ready to play last night. 
Now, he, you know, he quitted himself okay. Uh, he threw the touchdown. If Garrett Wilson doesn't make one of the sickest catches we've, we've ever seen, mm. he has no touchdowns. And the interception, I believe that was to Milano. In the, that was just that, that was something from last year. It right. was terrifies us, which we'll get to a little bit later. But there were a couple times where he was flustered, you know, the, the immediate breakdown on the O-line, and he threw it out of bounds right away. That first bullet that he threw to Lazard, which Lazard almost dropped. I mean, I understand I'm investing. Again, part of it is out of desperation. I admit that, okay? I'm not sitting here saying that this guy's gonna, this kid's going to throw 30 touchdowns and lead the Jets to 14 wins. All I'm saying is he's got a rocket. He's got quick feet, and he's got different. It's a football term. It sounds corny, but he throws from different levels. He off-platform mm-hmm. stuff. Now you need to utilize what's around him, craft a script that is somewhat... Co- like co- cohesive with his with his toolbox, if you will, and let the one of the best defenses the Jets have ever had go eat. That's what you need to happen. I'm impressed that go you've eat. been able to turn so quickly. Like for me, I'm what's de- the choice? I'm de- well, I have no choice. Sulk, ah. be miserable. Ah. I'm demoralized. I, so watching- am I. I, I, I so still can't I. even believe the reality. Now, the season can't be over. See, here's the analogy, though. I said the same thing about the WBC when the Mets lost Diaz in the WBC. I knew. That the season, in my heart, yep. deep down, I knew it was over. But how stupid can you, you can't say the season's over. Going, They haven't even played a game yet. Everything else is still there in front of them. All right, they lose their clothes, a big deal. And then look what happened. Like, deep down, the reality is all that we dreamt about, all that we hoped for, everything Jeff fans were excited about, went up in flames in four plays. God. What were Eagle fans thinking when Wentz went down? Uh, Hey, look, we talked about it with Kurt Warner and Trent, and, uh, Trent Green years ago. Remember yep. in preseason? Yep. Of course, yeah. So yeah. it can happen. I'm rooting for it. I, I know you are. I just, I mean, my, especially where we're less than 24 hours. I, like, I still can't believe that it happened. The Ravens lost J.K. Dobbins. I know he's not a quarterback. The Browns lost a great lineman. Conklin the other day, mm-hmm. done for the season. This is football, and this is where the callousness um, I, don't get me wrong. I, I went to bed. I was, again, I was broken. And yeah. I, I was borderline inconsolable. Even th- then I rallied at the end like a lunatic. And we enjoyed it. <laughs> I mean, it was incredible. I want to win. By, oh, yeah, P.S. What a win. Well, that's what I'm saying. Normally they lose that win. game. The the Jets jetting what would lose that game no problem. That uh, is a understood. great win. Well, fighting down at half. N- you know, not positive signs out of the first half, of course. But fighting hard. The defense did their job. The yep. offense did enough. So, you give him credit for coming out with the win. I mean, listen, I've said a few times this year, I'm not very worried about the Bills. I've said that. Now I know they I picked, looked awful. I picked the Jets to win last night with Rodgers, clearly. Uh, not about that. I'm just saying, like, I there's been something off with the Bills for the last year or so. Josh Allen, who's incredibly gifted, has more turnovers in the last five years than anybody in the NFL. The Jets hurt him last year, literally hurt his body. They picked them off three times last night, forced two fumbles. Like, Josh Allen is in the middle of this very interesting regression. And I believe that the Bills' championship window, I know they're still very good, has shut. I believe that their window has shut. And I don't even speak other injuries into existence. Like, that's just that's just not the way anybody with a, with a good heart should roll. You want to win on your own merit. You lose. You want to lose, like, you know, because somebody was better. You shake hands. You work better in the offseason. You work harder. You try to come back and get them. You don't want to see somebody's Achilles snap or or knee, you know, explode. Somebody, some prominent superstar that I don't, at least. Maybe some of you do. I don't. That gives, you know, the Jets an easier path to do whatever. No, that's that's not the way. I, I, I don't think that way. I believe in karma. But I look around the AFC, and as much as we have talked about the beast of a gauntlet that the Jets will have to go through with Rodgers, Bills, beatable. Pats, beatable. Dolphins gave up almost 40 points, beatable. I know the Chiefs are really good. They're beatable. I mean, everybody they got beat is beatable. Opening, they got beat opening night by the Lions. I agree with you. And I know it's one week, and you don't want to overreact, but none of those teams who appeared to be on another level and untouchable, they, they don't look like that. And I don't believe that they're going to – they'll get better. Bengals will get better. Sure. Chiefs will get better. Kelsey comes back. They look different. But they're beatable, especially with a great defense. Okay. I told you, the defense was going to be the thing that would separate the Jets anyway moving forward. You saw what was one of the better defenses that we saw in week one. It wasn't Cowboy-esque, but they yeah. also didn't play – <laughs> the Giants. I mean, it's yeah. – and this is where Dalvin Cook comes in. It's one thing to have Brees Hall. Hall looked great. I mean, he looked amazing. But now once Cook gets his wheels under him, you can run the ball 25, 30 times a game. Do not tell me – well, you can tell me. I just won't buy it – that there is not at least a path to the playoffs for the Jets. 
I believe there is. 877-337-6666. Don't get me wrong. Excruciatingly unfair, brutal, devastating night. But it's now 10-21 the next day. The Jets have one win. A lot of NFL teams do not. The Jets have an amazing defense. A lot of teams do not. Got a shot. They got a shot. All right, BT and Sal on the fan.